All right, this is a video is about interpreting a definite integral. So, we are given the following situation. We have some function uh, pi prime, which is giving us the marginal profit in dollars per ton, and units are going to be important if we want to interpret this, of producing Q tons of some good or commodity. And the question is, what is this? What is this object right here? Uh, first of all, what it's called is the integral from 550 to 600 of pi prime of q. And I want to know how to interpret this. Well, first of all, since it's a definite integral, integral, it's a number. So this object is a number, and I want to interpret what that number is. Now, um, I don't know what pi prime is. I don't have a, an expression for it. I don't have a table for it. I don't have a graph for it but I can imagine to myself what its, what its definite integral is. So what is its definite integral? Well, if this is pi prime, and I don't know what it is, and I'm not going to, what is its definite integral? Well, it's going to be the area um, under its curve, right? So I have to think about what does it mean for this area to exist? What is it? Well, if I take one, say, if I take one box of it, what are its units in? And here's what I th here's how I interpret this is that pi prime is in dollars per ton. So these vertical units right here are in dollars per ton. And since Q is on the horizontal axis, the horizontal units of this are in tons. So how do I interpret the area? Well, the area is the product of these. You take length times height, and so in this case, it's tons tons times dollars per ton. And if I do algebra with this, you actually can do algebra with units the tons cancel because there's one on the top and one on the bottom and what am I left with? I'm left with dollars. So whatever this is, it's going to equal something in dollars. Okay? And now I usually turn to what's called the fundamental theorem of calculus and this tells me that what a, what a definite integral is telling me is that if I have if I'm integrating the rate of change of something here, I'm integrating the rate of change or the derivative of profit. So if I'm integrating that, what the fundamental theorem of calculus says is that I get the total change in whatever's rate I am integrating. So in other words, I get total change I get total change in what? Well, it's whatever's derivative I'm integrating, so I get total change in pi, because pi prime is here. And total change from when to when, it's from the lower limit to the upper limit. So from q equals 550 To, to q equals 200, or sorry, 600, to q equals 600. So what am I looking at now? Well, I have the total change in profit from q equals 500 to q equals 600. If I just think to myself for a second, this is like saying, how much profit did I get from 550 tons to 600 tons? And it's going to come out in dollars. So another way of simply rephrasing this is profit profit from what? Profit from oops the five hundred fiftieth through the six hundredth ton. and it's in dollars. As we discovered earlier, the units of this definite integral are in dollars. 
Okay, so the bottom line is, how do you get the units? Well, you think about the graph, and you take the units of whatever you're integrating um, and multiply by whatever the units on the horizontal axis are. And if you want to inter interpret what this is, it's total change in whatever function's derivative is right here.